This is a video on how to generate mock-ups in Adobe Photoshop using the materials provided in the, uh, the files provided in the portfolio development course. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's stop looking at my Photoshop screen here and we'll look at something else. So here we go. We're inside and in, inside the folder individual page requirements for specific pages in the week 6 through 10 folder for portfolio development class and this could change in the future but bottom line is download a PSD covers dot zip so I'm downloading that it's just a it's just seven mega seven megabytes downloading it it's going to my downloads folder I actually have mine set up to tell me where I want to save stuff so here it is save it in this mess so call my files there we go now the next step is to extract these so I have to go and extract these um, I'm doing that uh, over here in another window let me drag this over again this is in the downloads folder for me and there's what PSD covers and I'll go to extract I'm right clicking and extracting the zip file from among this madness here There we go. All right, so this is really what we need. Now remember where it's at. That's the trick. It's just remember where this is at. And mine's in my downloads folder and the PSD covers folder. So I'll move this out of the way. Now this is kind of weird, but you, you, you need to open up a document. I don't even know why, but you need to open up a document in Photoshop. This, this uh, tutorial only applies to Photoshop. Now I'm going to click on Create, and it doesn't really matter what file you open at all, but I always go to Web and choose the default size. I'm not going to do anything in here, though. What I really need is just open the uh, Actions panel, which for some reason wouldn't open without a file being open. So First step, open the Actions panel. Here's the Actions panel. I'm going to drag this out here for you to look at. This is going to be our friend. This will not take long. It'll surprise you how little time it takes. Here's a bunch of default actions. This next step's really a big deal. Open the Actions panel, and beyond that, you need to go and click on Load Actions. So that's what we're doing is we're loading actions. So got to find these guys and the actions are in the downloads folder in the PSD covers folder and here we go so what do you want to do a brochure CD envelope you know all these guys the same ones that you see here see all of these are in there and they're not they're not really labeled except well what I mean is is that the pamphlets are in the pamphlet folder but once you get in there you can't really tell what you're doing so you'll have to run these Again, this is a gift from your, from me to you. You don't have to do this, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty simple, and I like to show students how. But let's say that you were making a brochure. Click that, and I'll click on brochure number 10, and I'll press load. Now watch what happens over here. You see in the Actions panel, you'll see step 1 and step 2. If you twirl these open, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff, but don't worry about that. Just click on step 1, and then press play. Again, load it from the actions panel and pick it and then press play. That's going to prepare a template. So this is going to be the template. So I'm just waiting for it to do this. Basically it's stepping through all the actions. Someone else already pre-recorded themselves creating this template that has three parts to it. And all you have to do is wait through the process. It might take a minute depending on how much RAM you have on your computer. This computer's you know not super fast. All right, so it's created this three panel template. This there's two inside of here. Uh, there's there's two templates. This is the wider one. So you'd be looking for the narrower one if you're depending on when you're when you're listening to this. Uh, this is an eight, an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So you'd run a different template. But that aside, 
we're just trying to figure out how this works. So, so this is the template. You would go find your artwork, place it on top of here, and then you would go to step two and press play. So imagine that you, you had put your artwork on here. And uh, press play. All you have to do is wait. So what it's doing is it's converting that whatever was at the very top of that template and converting it into a mock-up without any effort from you. And yes, it takes a minute. But in the end, you'll have something pretty cool like that. Then you can take that. You know, I'll, I'll open up the layers panel and take a look at it. Where's my layers panel? Well, I'll press F7 to get it out. And you know, if you wanted to, like for me, I just turn the background off and then merge everything else together. I'll just say uh, merge visible like that. I just don't want a white background. And again, you don't have to merge anything if you don't want to. You can just drag it all over. But I like to make it a flat little PNG. Keep in mind, it does have a shadow applied to it. But what you would do is you would take this and drag it into the uh, page, the mock-up page that, uh, that or the... Uh, PSD page that you've created for your backgrounds in your book. And there you have it. So just imagine your artwork being applied to this. So this works best for students or for, for very specific assignments like uh, the triple brochure assignment, the CD assignment if that was approved, you can make a business card, put it on an actual card, um, the flyer assignment, hardcover book assignment, magazine assignment, um, anyone, any one of those. So it's pretty cool, and that's how it works.